guys welcome back to my channel filipina yordanova here thank you so much guys for clicking the link i know that um i keep posting video i am here in the city and seems that being in the city inspire me to make more videos so um in this video this video is all about life in bulgaria as a filipino and what are the things that you consider as a filipino before moving to bulgaria this topic is suggested by one of my friends from Ukraine, uh, from Varna, living in Ukraine with a Filipina girlfriend in Cebu. So, shout out to Dinislav Tsvetanov. Mega, mega, mega shout out. I also want to give a mega shout out to some of the Bulgarian with a Filipina wife and fiancé all over the world. Uh, Dimitar Dimitrov from Burgas. So, Burgas is on the seaside, guys. It's in the coast side, black seaside. Um, she, he has a Filipina girlfriend from Samar. Shout out to Ivo Alexandro from Vidin with a Filipina girlfriend from Bataan. Oh, Nikolai Georgi from Burgas again with a Filipina ha wife from Palawan. Theodore Stefanov from Bansko. Bansko, guys, is the ski capital of Eastern Europe. She has, he has a Filipina wife in Iloilo. So, I've never been to Bansko, guys. Sometimes it's, it's frustrate me to see other people doing ski on Bansko. Let's be honest, guys. It's, it makes me insecure watching other people doing ski or taking a picture on the mountain in the Bansko but still um, I'm going to work hard for that trip and I'm going to bring you on Bansko guys if not this year of course not this year because it's pandemic maybe next year or on the next few years Bansko is going to be there so I know that you can wait <laughs> actually um, my husband said that uh, I know that you don't really pursue going to Bansko because we have a we have a home in the village where I can do plays now also. But still, uh, one one day in my life, guys, I'm going to bring you to Bansko. So, yeah. So I would like to say massive, massive shout out to all of the Bulgarian who has a Filipina girlfriend and wife, which is a very good thing because. The Filipino community in Bulgaria is growing on and probably in a few years we already have a baby and uh, Filipina Bulgarian baby is coming more <laughs> getting more right so thank you so much Denislav Svetanov for giving me idea for asking me he sent me email uh, like, uh, can you give me idea? Can you give my girlfriend ideas or things that she considered before moving to Bulgaria? So that I think this is like getting ready. This is not to scare anybody. Um, this is not to give hateful to anybody, to anybody here. And I know that some of you don't like my contents about this certain topic. But guys, my channel is open for a thumbs up and a thumbs down. And the comment section is open and I'm willing to read your comments. If it's a hateful comments, I am willing to read it. But make sure that you put your real profile before you put your comment. Because if it's not your real profile, I'm not going to answer it. I'm just saying. <laughs> so, I write few of the things that I remember that you should consider. So, let's get into our video for today. <laughs> So the first thing guys that I can tell you to consider in Bulgaria is food is different. So food, Bulgarian food is very different from a Filipino food. Bulgarian love to eat salads. So if you move here, you probably try the famous Bulgarian salad, which is called Shopska salad. It is a combination of cucumbers, tomato, roasted peppers, white cheese olives and this is a great thing this is a great food in bulgaria the first try is not good because i don't like the taste of the white cheese 
But after I get used to it, it's very good. So maybe you're going to be confused or you're going to be a little bit shocked about the Bulgarian food when you move here. But at the end of the day, guys, you're going to have your own kitchen. You're going to have your own plate and you're going to decide what food you are going to cook in your kitchen, right? So in our, here in our house, I cook rice every day. I cook Bulgarian food. I cook Filipino food. So there's some options. My husband is going to choose what he wanted to eat. Of course, um, after I cook the Bulgarian food, I also cook the Filipino food. But I don't force my husband to eat the Filipino food, which, which is one thing that you have to remember, guys, if you are married to a foreigner or a Bulgarian. Because we have different culture and if they don't like the filipino foods especially we have a lot of exotic food in the philippines respect your husband and yeah don't force him to eat anything that he don't want to eat so food in bulgaria is more on meat bread dairy products salads and they love also juices like fruit juices so food is different but as what i said you are going to decide what to cook in your kitchen when you live here so this is just a certain things that is going to happen to you when you're eating in the restaurant or you are you are with your in-laws house maybe so confuse it's a bit confusing for us to eat like a lamb i I actually don't like lamb. <laughs> I don't like lamb. But there are some Bulgarian food which is like very similar to a Filipino food as well. So they love meat here. And their vegetables are very different as well. Like bell peppers, zucchini. Um, a lot of vegetables, guys. A lot of vegetables. And a lot of fruits are here. And the fruits are very cheap also like grapes, apricot pears, apples, of course, the, the vegetables and the fruits are very cheap. So it's good in some ways, but in some ways it's very bad as well if you are, if you are new. Actually, the, the kisel miyako, the Bulgarian yogurt, the sour milk, um, the first like, the first try of this yogurt was like, it's not good for me because it's sour. It's sour. It's 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 not what I thought. I thought that the yogurt, when you eat it, it's sweet. But the Bulgarian yogurt, guys, is sour, which is like going to confuse you moving to Bulgaria. So be ready for the food in Bulgaria. So the second one, guys, that I can tell you is the people are different. Bulgarian people are very different. To a Filipino people so here people are very independent they have a very strong privacy on their family and yeah I can say because you know what we live in the we live in a building right now I am in the town people here are contented to say drasti drave and they're done with that they're okay with that I like in the Philippines that we love like how are you um did you hear did you hear what happened to our neighbors yesterday it is oh yes or something like that so generally we love gossiping we love chismes in the Philippines here um people are well how do I say that people are very private yeah actually we are in the building here guys and there there are four rooms I don't know who lives on the other room. I don't know who lives on the other room. Uh, uh, the person I know on this building is the girl who maintained the building. That's the only one who I know. Sometimes I I see people downstairs opening the main door and then we say, Zdrasti, Zdravete. The name we're done with that. So yeah, Bulgarian people are very, very private. And... Um, I can also say that people in Bul Bulgaria is far lesser than in the Philippines. As what my, <laughs> I actually Google that Bulgarian has 6.8 million population. Same on what the Bicol region population is. So imagine 
one whole country population is a uh, one region in the Philippines, which is the Bicol region. Bicol region with a uh, 6.8 million. Yeah, so Bicol region has the same population in Bulgaria. Imagine. So especially guys, I live when I am in the village, I barely see people. <laughs> so this is something that is going to confuse you maybe if you're a Filipino maybe you are especially this um, oh there are no Filipino from Manila here but there is a Filipino from Cebu so maybe in Cebu you have a lot of neighbors you have a lot of population on your barangay or in your town but here less people you barely see people especially if you live in the village so the next thing that you should consider is Bulgarian people don't speak English. So there are some people who speak English, but if you live in a small town or you live in a small village, um, you can barely see people who speak English. That's why I suggest you to study a little bit of basic Bulgarian, start learning Bulgarian language earlier because it's going to make your life easier especially if you are not with your husband if you are not with your fiance roaming around the country learning certain words like thank you hello bye how are you is a big help for you to move here in bulgaria you can download the link app it's a very good application where you can learn the language i'm going to put my link on the description below so that you can start learning the language guys so yeah um language is going to be a part of the things it is i, I can say that this is the most important thing that you should consider to study because finding a job maybe affect you if you don't speak the language in Sofia, there's a lot of foreigners working in the BPO company who offers different languages such as English, English, <laughs> English, Spanish, Dutch, um, and different, more, more, more. So if you are going to live in Vidin, like the girlfriend of Ivo, you probably, yeah, you probably have a hard time. If you want to work in a Bulgarian company or people who speak Bulgarian only. So you're probably going to have a hard time to find a job, guys. This is one thing that give me a hard time to find a job also here. But as soon as you can start learning, as, you, as long as you can start delivering sentences, even if your grammar is wrong, they're going to correct you. Bulgarian people are going to correct you so in fixing your documents also you have to bring someone in a government agency who speak bulgarian uh, most of the government agency don't speak english so whenever that i have to fix documents for like um, job permit working permit i always go with my husband in this certain government government agencies so if you can speak the language then you can you can you can manage to do it by yourself what if your husband is working of course your husband is probably also doing a lot of things you know providing for your family so um, when i was in sofia one good thing that happened to me is my my boss secretary go with me on the on the place where we have to fix the documents for my contract but still guys um study a little bit of the bulgarian so the next thing is no filipino time here they hate being late <laughs> um me personally guys i don't like being late i don't like being late i was working in a appliance store for three years of my life and I had two lates for three years because of a family problem and because there is a accident in the road. So that's the thing, that's the only thing that makes me late. Here, Bulgarian are, if they tell you 150, you have to go there 150. 
if they tell you 1.30, you have to go there 1.30. One time, we need to go to Belograd Chic with my father-in-law. And uh, my father-in-law said, Rita, I want you to be in front of the building 9.30. And I arrived 9.33. <laughs> so my father-in-law said, Rita, what time is it? And I, when I checked my watch, I said, 9.33, 9.33, tati. And then he's like, I told you 9.30. Bulgarians are very strict to the time. So I said, I'm sorry. So yeah. And also, when I was in Sofia, guys, the bus need to leave Sofia to Kusludoy 5.30. And I, I walk slowly because I still have three minutes, I said. And then one minute before the bus, no, one minute before 5.30 on my watch, the bus already closed. And I ran. I said, wait for me, wait for me. I said, I'm going. I, I am a passenger of this. And it's like, Pumichita, this is already, it's already 5.30 in my in my watch. So I said, oh, that's, that's, that's one thing that really I said, mm. if they said 5.30, it's 5.30. <laughs> no Filipino time in Bulgaria, guys. Okay, the next one is going to be the season. Um, Bulgarian has different season. So on summer, you can wear bikini. You can wear different summer clothes. But on winter, it's horribly cold as well. But it's not as worse as in Russia or in Norway. But of course, you are a Filipina. If you are a Filipina, we are from the tropical place. Maybe it's going to be hard for you to adapt the season, the climate, the cold weather. So get ready for it there's a lot of thermal yeah it's noisy at the back guys this is common in in the town <laughs> so you can buy a thermal socks you can buy a thermal pants winter clothes gloves so yeah your husband is going to teach you on how to dress good during winter also you are going to Oh, in Bulgaria, guys, this next thing, in Bulgaria, there is no free. <laughs> Unlike in the Philippines, that if we invite our friend to go with us to have a coffee, it's automatically that we have to pay the bill, right? So, walang libre dito sa Bulgaria, guys. So, if you are going to invite your friend, I never thought that it's that way. So, if you are invited by one of your friends to have a coffee, you have to pay your own bill. It's not because he invited you. He is going to pay your bill. Except if it's a birthday, a wedding, or anniversary party, something like that. So like personal occasions, if you are invited in a restaurant to eat, they are going to pay for your food. But if you are invited by your friend to have a coffee, to talk, you know, to have a talk, then it doesn't mean that they're going to pay your bill. What they do here is after you talk to each other and you want to leave. Example, me and my friend gather together like we are six. So if I have to go to the restaurant already, if I need to go to the job, to my workplace, I will remember what type of coffee I ordered and I will leave it to the table or go to the bar to pay so you're going to say hi mom i am the one who ordered the cappuccino i am about to leave now so i'm going to pay my bill so there is no libre here guys there is no free here but if you are super close to each other of course you're going to offer sometimes um sometimes i have a free coffee from some of the friends because they already we are already super super close to each other like they insist because we barely see each other and they insist, but in a lot of ways, a lot of things, a lot of situations, guys, don't think that if you are invited by one person to a coffee shop, don't think that he or she is going to pay your coffee or your bread or your bill when you are in a coffee shop. So the last but not the least thing that you have to consider is... Um, I think stop comparing yourself to other expat or other Filipinos living in Bulgaria. This is one thing that will make you live better in Bulgaria. 
Bulgaria, guys, is not America. It's not Iceland. It's not Switzerland. It's not Philippines, and it's not other. It's not other European country. You may be. You maybe have a hard time the first year or the first months, but of course, if you are going to look for the positivity of being here, you're going to be grateful. Um, it is it is frustrating to see other people traveling, to see other people eating good foods, to see other people gathering together and have a coffee in one of the restaurants, one of the expensive coffee shops. But still, the purpose of you being here in Bulgaria is to join your husband, to create your own family, to start your own life as a Filipino or as a Bulgarian and a Filipina couple. So if you have, if you see other people living in this way, make them as your inspiration to do better in life. So yeah, guys, um, me, I have uh, insecurities sometimes. I sometimes have an insecurity looking other people eating in the same table with their children while me I'm here in Bulgaria and my kids are in the Philippines with my mom and my father right so but still I am grateful because we have an opportunity to work here we can provide good for my family in the Philippines and we can also pay our bills here which is the most important thing right so happiness happiness comes within you i don't say that money can't buy happiness but i want to tell you guys that money is not everything if you have a lot of money maybe you can buy the most expensive house on the sea coast have your own huge bed have your own queen size bed or king size bed but you cannot buy your sleep right if you have a lot of money, guys, maybe you can rent a very expensive chef in the town to cook you the best food, but you cannot buy your appetite. That's what I am trying to say to you guys. Um, being grateful is one thing that you have to consider moving in Bulgaria. So guys, I hope that this video gives you a little bit of idea on how to live in Bulgaria. Again, this is your friend, Filipina Yordanova. Thank you so much, all of the Bulgarian again. Dimitar, Dinislav, Ivo, Nikolai, Teodor. Thank you, thank you so much, guys, for reaching me out about this topic. Again, this is your friend, Filipina Yordanova. May you have a wonderful day in your neighborhood and God bless your beautiful soul, everybody. Ciao.